Hi there. So this is Subbu. Uh, welcome to uh, Azure Migration Video Series. This is the part three. On this video, we are going to uh, over a free tool you can download and use it today to uh, to help you with, uh, with the, to generate the workload for the during the performance testing. So uh, that uh, so today uh, the tool is Ostress. So Ostress is a Microsoft uh, tool comes with RML utility packages and it uses the uh, to trust the SQL Server. It is a free tool for uh, for SQL Server developers and the database administrator. It is designed to assist with the performance test testing of the T SQL queries. In short, it also al uh, allows uh, putting a, a serious load on your databases. Means using this uh, tool where we can keep load on our SQL uh, uh, the databases that can be uh, on prem, that can be uh, Azure SQL, that can be Azure uh, uh, SQL VM. Okay, so this is the block where you can go and download the RML utility. So, uh, so just go here and just uh, download the RML utility. You can download this RML utility from the link described in this blog posted. So, I will share this link uh, in the video description. So, once you download and install RML utility, go to the folder where they install. So, by default, most of the uh, systems. So, this is the default path under the c programming under the uh, uh, program files microsoft corporation so rml utility so this is the default for most of them all the system you will find it just open the command prompt so and type ostras okay so it will get you complete details about your ostras and what are the parameters we need to pass so i just make any few state uh, statements for understanding purpose okay so these are the few statements where i'm passing dot sql file as a parameter and directly i'm, I'm trying to run the uh, queries so a uh, few are very important parameters everyone need to know so that is uh oh stress iphone yes is nothing but an instance name that can be named instance or that can be default instance okay iphone e is nothing but uh, windows authentication iphone i is nothing but a parameter where if you want to par parameter dot sql file iphone n and iphone r are very important parameters on the host uh, uh, too so iphone is is nothing but iphone n is nothing but uh, where you are passing number of connections that is nothing but number of threads how many threads you are going to pass okay iphone r is nothing but number of iteration so how many iteration you are going to run that can be one that can be n number of iteration Okay, these are the two parameters. So iPhone I when you are passing a dot SQL file iPhone Q when you are you if you are trying to perform a uh, T SQL query like right? can be a select statement. It can be any business transaction like insert or update delete or you can create you can alter it Okay, so first uh, statement I am going to create a table in the temp DB So this is the statement where I am going to run currently create a table first index on the temp DB if, if table exists it will drop the table and it will recreate the table along with I am going to create some indexes Okay, so for just verifying so currently any tables are available in temp table No, so currently uh, so there are no tables are available. Just try to copy this statement and You can go to the host test tool command prompt Okay, just paste it and run it so to execute this one it taken around 166 milliseconds Okay, that's time is and you can just go and verify So now the uh, dbo dot post index table is created Okay, so not only creation you can perform whatever operation you want if you wanted to try to insert the data or update the data or, or you wanted to try to select okay, you can perform let me go and run one more command so uh, so this is where I am directly running the uh, select statement. Okay, so it may take some time. So this table is a huge table, which is around five gig, uh, five gig, and it's around having 50 uh, uh, millions records. It may take some time to execute. Okay, 
so this is how you you, you can use you can uh, use ostrace and you can start your sql database in back end you can you can collect so in next video we are going to cover uh, uh, performance counters to collect the uh, performance counters when we are stressing our sql databases okay yeah that's for today yeah thanks all thanks for watching please subscribe my channel thank you